don't be mad at me, okay? Don't be mad. Um, so hi. <laughs> hi everybody, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So, if you were a subscriber of mine, you've been here for a little bit, you know I am not reliable when it comes to my hair whatsoever. So today's video, we're going to be getting rid of my blue hair. I know I just dyed it blue, but if you recall, even in that video, I was like, I know I'm going to regret this. So I'm usually purple or orange. Anytime I dye my hair other than purple and orange, I hate myself for it. And I don't, like the blue color is fine, but it is staining everything, no matter how many times I've washed it. And underneath is fading to a weird, well, it looks more blue on camera. It's kind of navy, kind of cool. But in person, under here is fading so weirdly green. And it's fading so unevenly that it's driving me absolutely ballistic. So between it staining everything, including my man, I can't even lean on him without staining like his armpit. Um, <laughs> and at my bottom of my shower, everything is blue. So <laughs> besides that, it, it has to go. I know everyone in the everyone on the internet gives me the most compliments when I have blue hair, and it's because my skin is extremely cool toned. So blue hair looks great on camera. However, in my day to day life, it's just not practical. But like, it looks great on camera. Right? It makes my skin tone look super even and nice. However. I'm inconsistent, I'm either purple or orange, so today we are going to be removing this blue. Hopefully, if nothing goes wrong, my goal is to have a bleached front of my hair and an orangey red to be like my lord and savior, Jerry Hollowell, aka Ginger Spice from the Spice Girls. So I love orange hair on me, no one else seems to, I do, but I want to like have this blonde and the rest of this like an orangey red. I might have to put more pink or more like straight up red into it. I have some pink-ish color and some pure red. So yeah, to cancel the green because there's green underneath here. First, I am not a hair care professional by any means. If my hair falls out from this, it is completely my fault. And I just realized I don't have the microphone plugged in, so I apologize for the audio in this intro. But let's get into it. So I told myself I was going to wait another week before I did this because I've had this stuff for a few days now. This is the color I bought. It's Lime Crime. I was going to do Arctic Fox because I always do Arctic Fox. But I saw this color and I was like, ooh, Gender Spice vibe. So it's this Caramel by Lime Crime. It's a little more neutral, but I do have pink. I have red to cancel out some green. I do have some orange left over too from last time I was orange a couple months ago back in October. Maybe November is when I changed from orange, but this is the color. It's very neutrally. And the color remover I got from Sally's, probably not the best quality, honestly, from Sally's, but this is the Beyond the Zone Radical Color Remover. And it has blue on the packaging, so I figured this would take out blue. It says removes bright, bold color, ammonia-free. So for the greater lift, mix two ounces of developer. For light lifting, mix two ounces of water. So I have 20, vol 20 volume developer. This is the well I've had it forever. I've never even finished this thing yet. So I'm going to use this. It's only 20 volume, so I'll watch it lift slowly, hopefully. And uh, allow it to remain in your hair for a minimum of 15 minutes, maximum of 45. Longer processing, the greater lift. Shampoo from hair twice. All right. My hair lifts pretty fast, honestly, but this is going to be green underneath if it doesn't completely remove it, even though it says remover on it. But let's get started. This is a terrible idea. Everyone's gonna be mad at me. Because everyone, like all my comments lately have been like, oh my god, I love your blue hair and thank you. I appreciate it. However, <laughs> I can't commit to it. It's always such a mess. If I could get over the staining stuff, it's really how it's fading so unevenly. I know I have like three different colors of blue in here because I wanted to use it the blue, but this fading green underneath here is just driving me crazy. And you guys saw the video like, I don't know, maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago from when you're seeing this one, but I've had it in for an extra week longer than that. Just be, and I couldn't even like, we went on a, Adam and I went on a date the other day, we're going to take selfies and stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't take selfies in here with you because I don't need to reveal my new hair color yet. Um, so I've had it for longer than you saw it, but... 
I can't do this. This might be a two-day process, and Adam and I are going out in the morning, so I might be blonde for that, maybe, hopefully, but let's do it. I feel like I'm ranting, and I always rant in hair color videos, mostly because I'm nervous. I don't want my hair to fall out. Let's hope it doesn't. Brad Mondo, do not watch this video, or any of my hair color videos. It smells like straight-up seafood in a bowl, this powder stuff. Ew. But I'm going to do double the amount of a developer, like it said. It smells fishy as crap. And if you get the Color Oops Color Remover, that technically really doesn't work on semi-permanent hair, even though it says it does. It smells eggy. So the thing about hair color movers just stink all around. This smells terrible. It's also slightly still chunky. It really will not get any better than that. Also, Adam doesn't know I'm doing this. It's Valentine's Day when I'm filming this. And he's doing like a haunt thing, so he's like being spooky and stuff, and he's not home, and I didn't tell him I was doing this yet, but guess he's gonna find out. I don't know what our date for tomorrow is. He said he's taking me out to make up for not spending Valentine's Day with me. But I hope it's somewhere I can wear a wig. <laughs> but can I wear a wig with a dress? I mean, I guess I can. But I gotta wear a beanie usually. Or it's somewhere that uh, I can look weird at because I don't know what we're doing, and he won't tell me. Ooh, here's another issue I have. I want ginger spice hair with the blonde in the front, but my hair is semi-permanent. So, I don't think I can do that because every time I wash my hair, the color is going to bleed into my blonde. Great. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> as long as this blue comes out, though, I can put purple over it, I can put orange over it, I will put red over it, I will do whatever to make my hair not fade to a green color. Okay. Ends, dark still, sea foamy, greeny, some yellow, which is great. Hair. My roots still look very blonde. It really lifted from there. The ends, however, are the most damaged and the most saturated in color, so they're not lifting. <laughs> but I'm going to leave this on for a little bit and I'll be right back. Alright, hey. It's been about 20, 25 minutes maybe. The ends are still so blue-green. But the rootage looks blonde again. Like, my roots look blonde. But the ends are so green and blue. So I'm going to rinse this out now and I'll show you what it looks like after. Alright, here's where we're at. Um, I only brushed this one piece of my hair just to see how bad my split ends were. And they're decently bad. My hair is damaged. And just probably because I bleached it a two weeks ago. <laughs> but this is what we have. I just towel dried my hair as best I could and then put it on very low heat for a second on the blow dryer just to get it to a decent not too wetness. Uh, the top of it came out very nicely. I don't know if it's because the ends of my hair are more porous and they're more damaged that they just held on to the blue color better, but I'm going stupidly. I probably shouldn't do this. If anything happens, I'm going to be really upset, but I'm going to use, I've done this before when I had this kind of color hair and it worked really well. So this is the Prism Light Violet. It's like a bleach toner situation, so it's going to tone it more purple and probably neutralize the green. It's probably not going to lift it out all the way, but I'm just going to leave it in for a couple minutes. I'm going to do this as fast as I can with a 20 volume toner because it's not very strong. I added a couple drops of my Olaplex number 3 into the bowl. Just a couple. Um, I still want my new hair color to stick to it after this. If I have hair after this. So I'm going to run this through there as fast as I can. Mostly focusing on the green parts. I don't too, care, I don't too much care if my blonde is yellowy blonde too much. But doing this super fast. I'm talking fast because I want to go ahead and do this. And then hopefully my hair doesn't fall out. It says leave for blonde and or fine hair with 20 volume developer 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm going to leave it in for 10. I know this isn't smart. I know I should leave it for a few days. However, I cannot walk around like this for a few days. Alright, so I didn't really use that much product. Um, I have a little bit of my brows right now. This is what it's looking like. Ends are looking very, very green. The end ends that were very, very blue are still very, very blue. But I'm just going to leave this for a couple minutes. Not very long. I'm scared my hair's going to fall out. And I'll be right back to show you what it looks like if I still have hair at the end. Well, not the end because we haven't dyed it yet, but you know. 
Alright guys, so this is the color I came out with after just a few minutes. I was really scared to leave it in longer, that's why it probably did not come out. And my hair is still baby bit damp, but I tried to dry it as much as I could. Here is the color that I kind of swatched on my head. So, this came out very burgundy when I opened it. It's not living this fantasy. This is actually the perfect fantasy for me, I feel like. And I know I'm not supposed to have warm colored hair because I have really cool toned skin and warm's going to clash and not look great on me. I don't care. Makes me happy. I'm going to do it anyways. So, I added a big glop of this. I also added a big glop of this, which is orange pop. And I added a liberal amount of sunset orange as well as cosmic sunshine. I'm throw upside down because I'm like letting the stuff drain down from Arctic Fox. So it's more of the other stuff than it is this, but this gives, this gives it that nice, the, the, the nice gingery color that adding a drop of purple rain to my orange usually does. And it looks very red in the bowl, but you know, it, it swatched out pretty orange on my hair. So I'm going to just apply it liberally and leave it. All right. So I definitely feel like I should have put a tinge more of the caramel color towards the roots because they're looking very neon, which I kind of live for, but the ends, because they had the blue green them, are more gingery, not neon. So this is probably going to require a touch up afterwards. So I'm going to leave this on for quite a while, I think. Just going to kind of chill, maybe like half an hour just to see what kind of color we get. And then I'll show you, and if I have to do a retouch up. I'll show you tomorrow because I'm not going to do it again tonight, but. Looking real orange. Looking like an oompa loompa, yeah. Alright, hello. No, I didn't bother to really do my hair for this. So, this is what the color ended up like. It's the fantasy orange at the roots and then faded to this kind of muddled, yellowy kind of color down here where it kind of neutralized the green. Alright, weird jump cut because... That just started peeing, so I redid that, but that footage got corrupted because my battery died and you didn't get to see the application. But this is the finished hair color after that second touch-up. So what I did for the touch-up is I added a little droplet, I mean a decent amount of pink, pinky purpley shade, and um, some more of the caramel color that we originally had from Lime Crime. So I did that. I left it for just a couple minutes to really punch up the ends. I started at the ends and then I did the roots very lightly just to make it all mush together pretty well. And this is our finished color! This is it. It's... It's... It's beautiful. I am the first one to admit I may not look as good with red hair as I do with blue or purples. <sighs> but I don't care. <laughs> like, my skin doesn't stand off as like being as nice and everything because this is so warm and I'm so cool. But I could not be happier. Because I just feel like... It's just so fun, and it, looking at it in the mirror just makes me so happy seeing myself walking by a store and I see the bright orangey red hair and like the reflection of a window. It makes me so happy that I don't care if it looks not the greatest on me. I still think it looks okay. I love how black it makes my eyelashes look, and it's like every character I wanted to be growing up consumed like consumed into one fun hair color and it reminds me so much of everything I've ever admired so I'm here for it I may not have got the ginger spice dream I originally attended for but I honestly couldn't care so this is the finished hair color you guys uh, uh. honestly every time I walk I like, go to the bathroom and I <laughs> come like walk by a mirror I'm just like oh my god oh my god flipping in different ways I'm like oh my god <laughs> Look how bright it is. I know a lot of people hate like really really bright red hair and stuff but I feel like once this fades some it's going to get more of that orangey back to it and it's going to be really cool. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it was a bit of a mess but um I am super happy. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're not subscribed already I'd really appreciate it. It'd be cool if you did and we could be friends and stuff. I'll see you later. Bye. Ah, nah, nah, nah. Na, 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 na. My hair feels a lot healthier after dyeing it twice, too, because it just is a nice moisturizer. It just it feels so much healthier now. Why does it feel so much healthier after I dye it so many times?